Hi, in this short tutorial I'm going to show you how to create courses and course groups in Voice Proctor. In this case we're using Voice Proctor as a standalone platform not integrated with another LMS. If this was integrated with an LMS the courses, course groups, students, instructors would all be created inside the LMS and would automatically be synchronized to Voice Proctor. When Voice Proctor is being used as a standalone platform you need to create them inside of Voice Proctor manually. So we'll log into Voice Proctor as an admin because only administrators can create courses and course groups. We'll go to configuration at the top of the menu over there and then we'll click on the right on course groups. Again courses belong to course groups. You'll have a course group such as English 1314 which is your English 101 perhaps class that you'll have for the 2013-2014 school year and inside that course group you'll have your fall as well as your spring classes. When the class is active, you'll uh, be able to keep it active using that uh, checkbox over there. When it's active, the instructor will be able to see those classes uh, when they log in. When it's not active and you save that, it'll be in this list as an admin, but the instructor won't be able to see it. And that's useful because the instructors teach a, teach a number of classes every year. And once the class is not active, the, the instructor doesn't want to see uh, all the classes that they've taught in the past. So by making the, the group not active, uh, it makes it easier for the instructor to access just the classes that are that they're currently teaching. In order to create a course group and thus create courses, we'll click on Add New. In this case, we're adding a new course group. We'll call that um, Spanish 101-1314. And this will be the Spanish 101 class for the 2013-2014 school year. Uh, this active, you'll see the active uh, checkbox is clicked, and we'll save that. Very simple. Now, all we need to do is add courses, and we'll add Course of Spanish 101 2013-14. We'll add Spanish 101 Fall 13-14, just like that. Then, for argument's sakes, it'll start today, and it'll end at the end of the month. We'll save that and the course is there. Here we have the information for the course. We have details of the name of the course and the dates. Uh, below that we can choose the campus. If Voice Proctor is set up to have different campuses, you can add the campuses as well. Instructors. Well, we created a course, no one's teaching it yet. So we'll do a search and I'm going to do a search just with a space just to come up with all the names. And there we have John Instructor. We added him as an instructor and saved successfully. Done. Let's add some students. We'll click on Edit in the Student section. And again, we'll, uh, I'll do a search just for a space to come up with everyone on the, this small list. And we'll add Clark Kent, uh, Benjamin Grimm, uh, Barbara Gordon, and um, Sally Ride as our students in the course. So here we have our four students, our instructor, the details, and we'll click Done. We've just created a course. It's that simple.